Cristiano Ronaldo was absolutely terrible in the Euros this year. And look, the prime Ronaldo we used to know is obviously gone. The man is literally pushing 40. But at the time of this recording, Portugal were eliminated from the Euros yesterday. And after watching that game, the fact that that man stayed on the pitch for 120 minutes plus penalties is absolutely outrageous. And here's the thing. Portugal could have won that game against France. They were creating beautiful opportunities, except their striker for the entirety of 120 minutes was just clogging up space while players like Diogo Jota sat on the bench and had to watch. And here's the thing, I am not a Ronaldo hater. I do not like him, I have never rooted for him, but I am not someone who's going to diminish his accomplishments in the sport just based on the fact that I think Messi is better or I don't like him. He is, in my opinion, is the second best player to ever play the game, and the unfortunate part for his career was he just played the game at the same time as Messi. But I cannot ignore the fact that the end of Cristiano Ronaldo's career, in my opinion, has been an utter letdown. It's almost as though the guy is just delusional and thinks that he is the same player that he used to be, and there are a lot of people who agree with this sentiment. But just because I think the end of his career has been lackluster and somewhat of a letdown doesn't take away the fact of how good he was in his prime. In his prime, Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the most electrifying players to have ever played the sport. But take his return to Manchester United, for example. It was very, very clear that Ronaldo was on the downward trajectory of his prime, but he could still play to a high level. But he had to leave there on bad terms, too. Obviously, falling out with the manager and the club just in general... Ronaldo's last tenure at Manchester United was, in my opinion, kind of a letdown. But when it was announced that Ronaldo would be going to Saudi Arabia to play, I looked at it like this was him at the end of his career looking to cash in, go to Saudi, score a boatload of goals, make a boatload of money. Yes, he could not run and gun like he used to. He was not the player that he used to be. However, he could still go somewhere and make a lot of money playing the sport. But now we are in this weird conundrum where people are still trying to act like this is Cristiano Ronaldo from 2011. He is not the same player. He is nearly 40 years old. He is no longer playing at the highest level. And in my opinion, he should not be starting for his country. I think it would be an unreal real substitute. Could you imagine if that game against France was nil-nil and Ronaldo was to get subbed on in the 70th minute? That would be absolutely electric. But in my opinion, this delusional ideology that Cristiano Ronaldo is still the same player that he used to be is ultimately just hurting his legacy. As a football fan, one thing that really, really annoys me is when people try to change history and act as though the Messi-Ronaldo debate in the 2010s was not close. It absolutely was. Obviously, in my opinion, Messi is the GOAT, and that was capped off with his World Cup victory. However, acting as though Ronaldo and Messi were not neck and neck for a few years, I just think it's ridiculous. And Messi is nowhere near the same player that he used to be either, but if you watch him play for his country, it's not as though his presence on the pitch is a detriment to his country. He still creates chances, nowhere near the player he used to be, but he is still useful to his team. But like with Ronaldo, like the guy missed a penalty against Slovenia and he's on the pitch crying. It's kind of like, I don't even like Ronaldo, but is this the way you want to see the dude's career just end in that he's out there underperforming and just like breaking down because he just is not the player that he used to be and he feels as though he's letting his country down. And in my opinion, Ronaldo's presence at the Euros this summer was ultimately just a letdown. It was really just a case point of a player who at his prime, is one of the most electrifying sports figures, let alone footballers, the world has ever seen. And I am by no means a Cristiano Ronaldo fan, but seeing someone who had such an impact on a sport age and just not have an understanding that the game has left him behind, which he was so successful at, it's almost depressing to see. Because if we're all being honest, his presence in the Portuguese team for this Euros was ultimately a detriment to his country, and he did not perform to the standard of players he started over. But please, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I'm very, very interested in hearing your thoughts on Cristiano Ronaldo's performance at the Euros this summer. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to like this video, click the subscribe button, and click that little notification bell so you know every time I make a new video. I appreciate any and all support I could be given, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.